In this video, we're going to be analyzing a suspended water droplet and we're going to be solving for the weight of the water droplet, solving for the Q value, the charge of it, and then it finally finding the amount of excess electrons on that water droplet. So first of all, we have to have a force of gravity pulling it down. And if it's suspended, we must have an upward force that's canceling that one out that's equal in the opposite direction. And that would be the electric force from the electric field, which would mean that the electric field should be directed downwards because if something has excess electrons, that means it's negatively charged, which means it would be going the opposite direction of the electric field. Now, here are a few things we know. We know that um, the electric field or the electric force, excuse me, is equal to the force of gravity. So that's a good starting point except that we have no Q value, but we do have an E to find our electric force, and we don't have a mass, but we do have the constant G. Now, if we set up what we currently have, we have a Q that's unknown. We do have the electric field, which is 450 Newtons per Coulomb, and then we don't have the mass, and we know G is 9.8. So our goal at the moment is to find Q. And if we can find Q, then we can do one more extra step to find the amount of excess electrons, which we'll do at the end of the video. So since we don't have the mass directly reported to us in kilograms, what we're gonna have to do is take the density times the volume. Now for the density, it is about 1000 kilograms per meter cubed for a droplet of water. And then for the volume, because it is a spherical droplet, what we can do is find the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now we know our r value, it's right up over here. So I'm gonna substitute in one times 10 to the negative sixth meters in for our r. And then once we take 4 thirds pi and then that r cubed, then we're going to get a volume of 4.19 times 10 to the negative 18th meters cubed. So let's go ahead and plug that in over here. 4.19 times 10 to the negative 18th meters cubed. So once we go ahead and we take 1,000 times 4.19 times 7 negative 18 times 9.8, the final product of those numbers is 4.11 times 10 to the negative 14th Newtons. And then we can set that to Q times 450 Newtons per Coulomb. Now, if we go ahead and divide both sides by 450, then we have our Q value and our Q value comes out to 9.12 times 10 to the negative 17th coulombs. Okay, and that's just the magnitude. Remember, we identified that is negative because of the situation over here, how the object has excess electrons and gets pushed upwards the opposite direction of the electric field. Now we have our Q value, so we can find our final answer, which is finding the amount of excess electrons. So we can use another constant in this situation. And that constant we're going to use is we're going to divide that by the charge of a single electron, which is always negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And then we have our final value of the number of electrons, which equals 570 which is basically a unitless answer because if you take two Q values measured in coulombs, the coulombs is gonna cancel out. So it's just 570 and I'll just say electrons to be a little bit more specific. So to sum things up, we took our two forces, set them equal to each other, broke them into two different formulas and we had two different unknown variables. So we had to use a third formula, which is the density times volume. The density of water is about 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. And then we solve for the volume by using the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed, plugging that one micrometer in for our value, which gave us this 4.19 times 10 to the negative 18th. 
took the product of this number, this number, and then the 9.8, and then that gave us 4.11 times 10 to the negative 14th newtons, which equals our weight or our force of gravity, which is also equal to the electric force. And then once we divided both sides by 450, we got our Q value. Our Q value gave us the total net charge on the water droplet. And then from there, if you take the total charge divided by the individual charge of a single electron, you can find out the number of electrons that are stuck to the water droplet, the excess amount, excuse me, of electrons that are stuck to the water droplet, which comes out to the whole number of 570. Thank you very much for watching and listening.